what are the three biggest challenges that we have today in recruiting from the Philippines during a pandemic. My name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company. The three biggest challenges that we have today. Firstly, how do you know as a client that the candidate has the skills that you need when you can't travel up there to test them yourselves? Number two, how do you know once they've been selected that they'll get through the trade skills assessment as set down by our government for the Cert 3, which is required for a valid entry into Australia. And finally, number three is how do we ensure that we can get a travel exemption for entry into Australia when our borders are closed. So I'm gonna go through those in a bit more detail now. Firstly, on the skill set of the Filipinos. So we have approximately 80,000 Filipinos that we are connected directly with various skills. So we have a great talent pool of people that all want to come to Australia. But we can then from there filter out an enormous body to bring back a core group of people that fit the trade skills that are required by our client. At that point in time, we will load our candidates into an online portal for our clients to view and assess themselves online. And from there, we get a final pool of candidates to test further. So welders will sit a weld test. Mechanics may sit further aptitude testing where we can actually stream that live for our clients to view and confirm themselves that the candidates do indeed have the skills required. But once we've selected a candidate, we then need to have them trade skills assessed, which is authorised by our own government in Australia. So we have a Cert 3 that the candidates will need to pass. Now this is tough. This is about a three hour test in most cases over the internet. So welders now need to explain how to weld in their second language, not so much demonstrate anymore. So it's a really tough ask and what we do is make sure that the candidates do understand all of the theory behind the trade skill that they need. Mostly they've all been to TAFE, so it's revisiting all of that theory that they've done in the past and make sure they fully understand all the requirements to get through that exam. Because if they fail, there is a reset and you delay by months and cost every time. So we have our own trainers and assessors to actually ensure that our candidates are best placed to go through that final exam for valid entry into Australia. Then we have the travel exemption challenge. And at the moment, our government is handing out very few travel exemptions. So you can apply for a travel exemption when the visas are lodged, if the business is involved in essential services, as many of our clients are. So these travel ban exemptions applications do go in, but it's up to our immigration department to see whether or not they believe the argument is good enough. Now we've had some great success with that in the past, no guarantees going forward. However, there is a shift and we've now got the vaccine rollout and for the first time ScoMo's actually said, I can see that borders are going to open up. So we are seeing things will change. The other part of this which is even bigger because it plays into politics, is that we have a massive skill shortage. You know, last week I was talking about the elephant in the room. This is massive and we never had so much demand for our product because there genuinely isn't anyone in Australia to pick up the additional work that's now being done. We've got hundreds of billions of dollars of infrastructure projects that are coming on stream and there's no one to pick up the additional work to actually do that. So that in itself will allow the government to open things up more because the demand is there and we are not going to meet our productivity targets unless we have the people to do the work. So that's a wrap for today. My name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company. I'm happy to ask answer, or answer any questions that you may have about recruiting from the Philippines during a pandemic. Thanks very much for listening, cheers.